Hi, my name is Maya Popa, and I'm coming to you from my couch in New York City. And I'm going to be reading Monet Refuses the Operation by Liesl Mueller, which first appeared in the 1982 issue of the Paris Review. Monet Refuses the Operation. Doctor, you say there are no halos around the streetlights in Paris, and what I see is an aberration caused by old age and affliction. I tell you, it has taken me all my life to arrive at the vision of gas lamps as angels, to soften and blur and finally banish the edges you regret I don't see, to learn that the line I called the horizon does not exist and sky and water so long apart are the same state of being. 54 years before I could see, Rouen Cathedral is built of parallel shafts of sun. And now you want to restore my youthful errors, fixed notions of top and bottom, the illusion of three-dimensional space, wisteria separate from the bridge it covers. What can I say to convince you the Houses of Parliament dissolve night after night to become the fluid dream of the Thames? I will not return to a universe of objects that don't know each other, of islands as if islands were not the lost children of one great continent. The world is flux and light becomes what it touches, becomes waters, lilies on water, above and below water, becomes lilac and mauve and yellow and white and cerulean lamps. Small fists passing sunlight so quickly to one another that I despair, my brush not being long streaming hair. To paint the speed of light. Doctor, our weighted shapes these verticals burn to mix with air and change our clothes, skin, bones to gases. If only you could see how heaven pulls earth into its arms and how infinitely the heart expands to claim the world, blue vapor without end. I love the imagination in this poem. Um, Mueller imagines a conversation between Monet and his doctor, and Monet is quite adamant, quite stubborn here, despite, um, despite the flaw in his sight. So as he aged, uh, Monet developed cataracts, and Mueller here has imagined those cataracts as a source of wonder and even a source of his artistic genius and his way of seeing and conceiving of a painting. I love that she drops in the water lilies here subtly, um, and in fact, he calls his previous perfect sight a youthful error, so something that really um, one would not wish to return to, um, and, and sort of addresses how it's informed his way of um, envisioning of light in his painting. So I think it's a wonderful poem about process, and I think it's a poem that turns this idea of aberration on its head, as if each of us could perhaps find what is our flaw and use it and wield it and make of it some sort of genius, some sort of wit. Um, I think at a time that is so deeply troubled and uncertain, um, lines like the end of this poem, if only you could see how heaven pulls earth in its arms and how infinitely the heart expands to claim the world are a great comfort. I also love that this is a conversation with a doctor under what one might imagine are you know, better circumstances, better times. There's a sort of intimacy to it, and despite his refusal of the operation, you do get the sense that if the doctor could speak back, there would be some sort of understanding between them. Um, I hope if you are unfamiliar with Liesl Mueller's work that you will go in search of more of it, and I hope you are well, stay safe, and stay well. Thanks.